Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Robocopy command line tool. Now Robocopy command line tool is developed by Microsoft for a Microsoft ecosystem. If you have a Windows environment and you want something copied over from its current location to a new location, you can use Robocopy command line tool to move those folders to the new location. Now, this is just a few pieces of command that you run on your command line tool. You can use this on a, any Windows operating system. In this example, I've got a Windows 11 computer um, and I have created a source folder called folder A and I've put some random files in and I've got another folder called folder B which is currently empty so in this tutorial I'm gonna show you Robocopy in action I'm gonna run Robocopy in my command line tool on this computer to copy folder contents from folder A to folder B now if you have a, a different system for the or different server or a different computer for your source folders and you want to migrate or copy those folders and files from your source computer to a different computer on the network you can run this command from either the source computer or the destination computer it does not really matter all you need to do is specify the folder path and the two computers must be able to talk to each other so from a networking point of view they should be able to communicate with each other. As long as those conditions satisfy, you'll be able to copy folders from one location to another location anywhere. Even if you've got, for example, Azure file shares, you should be able to copy your files from your source to your Azure files um, once you have mapped them to a Windows computer. So this is a very handy tool you can copy massive amounts of data in a very short period of time uh, obviously because uh, it's just a command line tool and there's no graphical user interface there's no unneeded overhead you can just write a few lines of codes and do the job so without a further ado let's go ahead and see how this is done um, I've got a link to the official Microsoft documentation in here if you're interested you can refer to that I'll put this link in the YouTube description box below It'll, it'll show you a few examples, it'll give you the parameters and the function. So basically, um, Robocopy consists of source um, folder location or the source path destination and um, then you have a few options um, that you can select. Actually, there are quite a few um, options that you can select depending on um, how specific you want to get in terms of what you want the Robocopy command line tool to do for you. Um, I'm going to actually uh, start off with a, a basic setup but then I'll give you some examples of how specific you can get with these commands. So um, if you're new to uh, Robocopy uh, you may find this uh, process a bit more uh, daunting than someone who's used uh, this platform before. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up ChatGPT and get ChatGPT to actually do the work for us. So um, go to your web browser and search for ChatGPT and then click on ChatGPT. You don't need to create an account. If you want to create an account, you can. The benefit of creating an account with ChatGPT is it's going to remember what you asked ChatGPT. So if you want to run this command over and over again, um, maybe sign up to ChatGPT. But in this example, I'm just going to simply show you how it works. So just ask ChatGPT to create the command for you. So create a robocopy command to copy all folders from all folders say within folder A to folder B including NTFS 
file permissions. Uh, and I'm just going to add a log file as well, so in case, in case something goes wrong, if you want to check the log file to see what happened during the RoboCopy process, you can do so. So I'm just going to say add a log file as well. Okay, and hit enter. So RoboCopy uh, command will be created by ChatGPT. As you can see, uh, it has created me a RoboCopy command. So I've got the source folder here, destination folder, and a bunch of switches that I'm going to use. So if you scroll down, it'll tell you what this command's going to do for you. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just read these switches, and if you do not want any of these switches, you can just just amend the command uh, to um, your requirements. So I'm just going to go ahead and click copy code, and then I'm just going to put it on my notepad. Right there, you go. So we have already done the the tricky part I guess, or the most challenging part, it wasn't tricky at all but for someone who's doing it for the first time it may be. Now just click on the folder, your source folder and hold sh and press shift key. We need to copy the path so click on copy as path and then I'm just going to do the same thing with the destination folder. Press and hold shift key and press your right click button to click copy as path. And then just put that in here. Okay, so we need to just replace these values with the actual values in the Robocopy command. So click Control C, just get rid of this and and enter the value and then this is the destination so when you do this obviously your values are going to be unique to you so make sure that you get your source folder and destination folder correct never put the two in reverse order otherwise you're going to create a lot of problems for yourself so make sure that you get the source and the destination folders absolutely right before running this um, command. If you get them in the reverse order, you're going to delete everything in your source folders. So you don't want that to happen. So now that I've updated the source folder as well as the destination folder, next thing for me to do is actually update the location where my text file or the log file is. So I've created a log file in here. So what I'm going to do is uh, the same thing I did with the folders. Press and hold shift key on your keyboard, right click, and I'm just going to copy as path. Go in here and let me just put that value in there. Okay, let me just get rid of that extra um, quotation mark. Right. That's all guys, I have completed the command for RoboCopy, let me just click Control c to copy that command. And now we're going to type cmd to get command prompt application and we have to run it as administrator, so click run as administrator, click yes to the UAC prompt, just going to expand the window and Control V to paste it and hit enter. There you go. See how fast it was. Granted that I did not have many files, so this is obviously uh, very fast. But let's say if you want to transfer terabytes or gigabytes of data, it'll take some time. But it's already done the job. So in here, it's going to tell you, it's going to give you a summary of what it has done. And um, let's go and take a look at the actual destination folder to make sure that the data has been copied over successfully. As you can see, it is identical to my source folder now. 
so everything has been copied successfully and let's go and take a look at the actual um, log file as well just so that I can give you guys an idea of what it's gonna look like so it's gonna actually give you a very good picture of what it has done what kind of files it has copied over it's, it's a very handy tool guys now remember there's a switch called mirror switch which is gonna help you to keep two folders in sync um, we just did a straight copy from source to destination but if you've got two um, folders that you want to keep in sync that you can use mirror switch as well so it's M-I-R um, if you want to know more about different switches with Robocopy including mirror switch you just put a comment below and I'll do another video but I think this is enough for this video tutorial I just wanted to basically show you how Robocopy works I hope you learned something new today if you did please give this video a thumbs up um, and if you're not a subscriber to my channel please consider subscribing I'll catch you guys in the next one thank you and have a good day